going to Adam for his wealth? No, can you show me out at 7th Avenue Osborne? I got a... a unmanned vehicle that was kind of taken off from me. Um, it's a Waymo car. It's not every day you see a Phoenix police officer pulling over a driverless car. Hi! But that's what happened June 19th after the officer observed a Waymo going haywire in traffic. I couldn't help but come over just out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. I thought maybe there's a passenger or something. No, like, uh, you know the construction here? Yeah. It was, uh, eastbound in the westbound lanes. Oh! Which is real bad. Yeah. And then, so I light it up, and then it takes off through the intersection. While most Waymo cars can be seen throughout the city driving safely and behaving civilly, erratic driving is not completely out of the question for the artificial intelligence. It was making a right onto Washington. Almost hit me, I had to swerve into the fast lane. Phil Briggs says Tuesday, he nearly got sideswiped by a Waymo on a mission with no regard for the car surrounding it. My son saw an accident. We've seen him dead in the water in the middle of the intersection. So it's just, I don't see any good from it at all. I reached out to Waymo to find out more about the potential for errors in their cars. Waymo sent me a statement and they said Waymos are much better drivers than humans and three and a half times more likely to avoid injury causing crashes. So uh, your car here drove into oncoming lanes of traffic. In the case last month, Waymo says the construction signage on 7th and Osborne was inconsistent. And because the officer blocked the car, it had to impede oncoming traffic. But the whole ordeal only lasted one minute. If you or I are driving like that and we get pulled over, we get a ticket. So somebody needs to be held accountable. Phoenix police say they are able to cite Waymo, but it's not something they see or do often. Officers, though, are provided training to deal with robot-operated cars. Waymo cars are also able to detect an emergency vehicle and program to safely pull over on the side of the road. Waymo also makes it very easy for law enforcement to uh, simply press the help button on the inside of the car and get connected immediately to a 24-7 service member that will be able to talk them through moving the vehicle off the road, finding the insurance information, or whatever information that the officer needs for their investigation. All right, officer. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you so no much. No problem. Sorry Good luck. Trouble, okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. Take care. Yep. Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 10 News.